I've talked about Arizona's strong public records laws in the past, and recently there's been an uptick in concerns from members about what they need to preserve as public records. The most recent questions are often about either keeping text messages or about the use of apps like Signal with settings that can cause messages to self-delete after a set period of time. So I'll attempt to answer some of these concerns in today's video. I'm Steve Serbalik, and I'm a panel attorney for ASCOPS in Arizona. First, the disclaimer, this is a topic summary and not legal advice. So consult a lawyer before acting on anything in this video, as your specific circumstances could dictate other results. Before diving in, remember the advice that I offer to all members and viewers. Don't use your personal phone for work-related business. I know that this is sometimes easier said than done, but if you have a work phone, use that for work business. Regardless of what phone you use, here's the rule on public records retention in Arizona. You have an obligation to maintain records that are reasonably necessary or appropriate to maintain an accurate knowledge of your official activities and of any activities that are supported by public funds. That's ARS section 39.121.01b. Sounds pretty broad, but that phrase, reasonably necessary or appropriate, has been interpreted by the Arizona Supreme Court as giving public officers some breathing room. For example, in Salt River Pima Maricopa versus Rogers, the Arizona Supreme Court recognized that, quote, not every document which comes into the possession or custody of a public official is a public record. It's the nature and purpose of the document, not the place where it's kept, which determines its status. The court also recognized that mere possession of a document by an agency does not make it an agency record, and that the record must have some relation to the official duties of the public officer that holds the record. The term public record in Arizona refers to three potential definitions. First is a record made by a public officer in pursuance of a duty, the immediate purpose of which is to disseminate information to the public or to serve as a memorial of official transactions for public reference. The second is one that's required to be kept or necessary to be kept in the discharge of a duty imposed by law or directed by law to serve as a memorial and evidence of something written, said, or done. In other words, something an officer is obligated to write. The third is any written record of transactions of a public officer in his office, which is convenient and appropriate method of discharging his duties and is kept by him as such, whether required by law or not. This could be a meeting list that an officer chooses to create. Additionally, in Griffiths versus Pinal County, the court reiterated that the public has no right of access to private records located in government office that have no relation to the agency's activities. So putting this all together, the question of whether text or signal messages need to be preserved comes down to their content. Another analogy might be helpful here. Let's say you come into work and there's a post-it note on your computer monitor. It's from your boss and it says, come see me when you get here. Do you have to retain that post-it note as a public record? Of course not. It's not required by law to be kept. If the content isn't intended to be an official act or memorial, then it doesn't have to be preserved. So for text and signal messages, if the contents of the message are similar to what would be put on a post-it note back in the day, or if the messages are purely private, they generally don't need to be preserved under Arizona law. On the other hand, if the message in whatever form, post-it note, text, or signal, is intended to memorialize an official act, it could be a public record. For example, if you are texting a dispatcher your official arrival time at a scene instead of using the computer in your car, that could be interpreted as the record of your duties. And even though it's a text message, the bottom line is it could be a public record. In Arizona, you don't have to retain post-it notes with unofficial messages on them or text or signal messages that are similar to what you would put on a post-it note. But know and follow your agency's policies. And to keep your private life as private as possible, Avoid using personal devices to conduct government business. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. As always, I'll ask you to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to help my channel grow. Please share this video with others that you know that might find it helpful, and be on the lookout for future videos. They come out every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. I'm Steve Serbalik, 
Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.